Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Mondays with Mason. I am sorry that this episode is being filmed a day late. Um, for sure, yesterday was just busy, getting caught up on some schoolwork and stuff. Even though it's Thanksgiving break, I want to have mostly everything done. So, the last two weeks, I could get ready for my finals a little early. So, that's what I wanted to do, smartly managing my time here. So, I'm sorry that there was no episode yesterday, but it would have been a good episode yesterday to have this one. Um, Unfortunately, it didn't happen. The game's already over. The Eagles defeated the Chiefs um, 21-17. Um, Jason Ke Kelsey, his brother, defeated his brother Travis Kelsey um, for the first time in his career. Um, congratulations to Jason Ke Kelsey. Congratulations to the Eagles for sure. But the, brother that J but the brother that won the game last night will not be the brother we are focusing on for today's topic. Instead, it's the other brother Travis Kelsey we're going to be focusing on today. And you guys have been probably wondering, when I'm going to do this one, when I'm going to do this one, when I'm going to do this one. Well, the day has finally come. Get ready, because today's Mondays with Mason topic will be, and I've planned this for a week now, I just didn't want to do it till this week. Um, Because last week I already had the Michigan stuff picked out, but I fought this topic too on that car ride home. Decided to punt it to this week because of the game. But anyway, today's topic is my thoughts on the Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift relationship. First things first, it seems like they have not, neither of them, Kelsey or Swift, have come out and officially said that they're dating or they're a thing. I think they're dating. I think they've been dating since September. When the reports came out, I was like in shock when there was a report that linked Travis Kelsey to Taylor Swift. I thought it was funny to say the least. Out of all the people that I could have expected with her, he was one of the least people I would expect to be with her. So it's kind of funny how that transpired, though. I think they're a great couple, to be honest. I really do. But here's just their timeline of things. So Kelsey has always been wanting to hook up with her. He went to her concert and brought a friendship bracelet, which is what Taylor Swifties trade during their concerts. And there was a friendship bracelet that had Travis's number on it for Taylor. I don't know if it got to her. He didn't get the chance to meet her, unfortunately, after the concert. He was upset about it because he said, um, you know, she always talks and all that. Then she performs all these songs and stuff. And he didn't get the chance to meet her. Time transpires. I think a cousin or something. I heard somebody hooks them up. And Travis goes on the Pat McAfee So It's funny those past. Because I think it started September 5th. It was funny. After the Eagles beat the Vikings on September 14th. <laughs> I'm just laughing because I think this whole thing is. It's, it's nice. And I'm happy for Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. But the way it transpired, a lot of it, I find funny. Especially, obviously, we all know how famous Donna Kelsey was last year after the Super Bowl. <laughs> seeing how much more famous they have won and seeing Donna Kelsey everywhere now is absolutely hysterical. And don't get me wrong, I love Mama Kelsey. She's amazing. But, sorry I had to wipe my nose. The whole thing is kind of, it. it's somewhat hilarious. Like, always, even last night during the game, they couldn't stop, like, selling Donna Kelsey. And I get it. It's not because of Taylor Swift this time. It's because um, of the whole Jason and Travis thing, both the Suns playing. She didn't wear the, she didn't wear the mixed jersey. Like, one half was Philly, one half Kansas City. She didn't do that. She just wore a plain white shirt and a hat, so... Credit to her for doing that. But anyway, though, um, September 14th, the, after the Eagles beat the Vikings, the first Night football people ask, we got to ask about your brother and this pop star that my daughter likes. And Jason doesn't really want to get into all that because it's Travis's life, not Jason. So good for Jason. Now on to September 20, I think it was 22nd. Pat McAfee brings him on his son. He's like, we got to ask about you and Taylor Swift. And McAfee instantly says, 
hey, I got to see you rock out at Arrowhead, so you should come rock out, watch me rock out at Arrowhead. Two days later, she's at the game. They beat the Bears bad. Then the next game is in New York. She goes to that. Next game's in Minneapolis. She skips that game. The next two games are at Arrowhead, and she goes. She hasn't been at a game since, but she's been on tour. And the next part of this is rather my favorite part of this. And I absolutely love that she did this. During her recent concert in Argentina, she said, instead of her lyrics to one of my favorite Swift songs, goes, Karma is the guy on the screen coming straight home to me. She changed the lyrics to, Karma is the guy on the Chiefs coming straight home to me. And Scott Swift, Taylor Swift's father, who had a cheap sign on, by the way, just looked at Kelsey and put his older on him like this, and Kelsey was, like, so happy and then just started, like, dancing like this the rest of the song, and then C ran and gave him a hug after the show. I think it was rather cool. I was so happy to see them like this. They're both great people. Kelsey does a lot of good for the Kansas City community. And even Taylor Swift... A fan tragically died before one of her, or passed away before one of her concerts this weekend. She put out a very nice, heartfelt statement after the fact on Instagram, and she canceled the show, postponed it. She is a very good musician, and she always gives back and gives large donations to the community she's in. These two are an amazing couple, and I'm very happy for both of them. I'm very happy for all couples. But it's funny. I find it to be hysterical that Good Morning America brought on Mama Kelsey, and they continue to drill her about this. She was a small-town mom in the middle of Cleveland... And no, I'm not just in Cleveland. Cleveland's a beautiful place. In the middle of Cleveland, and most small town bears, and I'm not, but it seems like the Rust Belt part, us here in PA, the Midwest, Ohio, Michigan, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, seems like most people that live in just small houses, and don't get me wrong, I'm not critiquing them. They're amazing people, and I love them all. But it seems like most of those kind of people don't really like limelight. The fact that Donna Kelsey, and don't get me wrong, I love all these people. I'm not criticizing them, or I don't mean to criticize them. That Donna Kelsey is being sewn on everything now is a little insane. I mean, don't, I, I, I'm sure she's happy with all the attention, but with all these TV interviews, I'd be surprised if she's not already burned out. And she doesn't only have this son in the NFL, she has another son in the NFL as well. So she's doing real well. She was famous last year because of the Super Bowl. Her fame has skyrocketed because of Taylor Swift. And we all knew as NFL fans who Travis Kelsey was because of his heroics with the Chiefs. However, the whole world now knows who he is because of her. That's amazing. The funny thing is, the fact that not only is Mama Kelsey here being featured, but ever since this relationship began, he has been in almost every commercial. If there's 10 commercials, on a commercial break, he's in at least two or three of them. So yeah, it's crazy. And I mean, he won a Super Bowl and he wasn't even in this many commercials. So you win a Super Bowl right before COVID. No sports during COVID. But these big time companies could have easily used him then. As the star of the Super Bowl team. He was kind of though. Not so much in the limelight. Because Tyreek Hill was there. 
and Tyree Kill's amazing. But they could have easily used him then to keep people interested in sports and still sold their product because the economy sucked during COVID and most people were not doing very well during COVID. Most companies were not doing very well during COVID unless you made ventilators, vaccines, or any kind of medical stuff like Mr. Pfizer. Pfizer, Mr. Pfizer here. Kelsey, that's what Aaron Rodgers calls him. But anyway, though, um, these companies that needed a boost, they could have easily used Kelsey then. He's just coming off a Super Bowl. He's in the pinnacle of his career. It'd be a great advertising fit. You don't see any Kelsey commercials. 2023 beats his brother Jason in the Super Bowl. Get, continues to get hot. Continues to put up top tier numbers. This summer, you don't even see him in many commercials. September 5th. This link here connects them and Taylor Swift. He's in every commercial. So it's funny how music and football, two of my biggest interests and my two, two of my biggest passions in life, have come together. I think it's a great thing. I think it's a great thing that they're dating. But after a while, it does get tiring of hearing about it. And you're going to see Taylor Swift at some big games here. They play the Bills December the 10th. Raiders Christmas Day. Bengals New Year's Eve. Trip to LA. So probably be there. She doesn't go back on tour until like the week before the Super Bowl. which sucks for them if they make it. And then she'll be there at Arrowhead all throughout the playoff run. So I feel sorry for whoever's going to play the Chiefs in the playoffs in the first round or any round. Because you're going to probably get annihilated. And then you're going to head into your whole off season just watching pick play videos of you getting destroyed in the playoffs and Taylor Swift celebrating it. Somewhere in his existence, I think that's what they need. But certainly for an organization like, say, the Houston Texans, that is certainly not what they need. C.J. Stroud, D'Amico Ryans, Tank Dell, Willie Anderson, look at all the great things they've done this year in Houston. And they're on the right track for sure. The last thing they need is a rookie head coach, as a rookie quarterback, as a rookie almost everything, after an amazing season, is to go to the playoffs, get trounced by Kansas City, have to watch photos of Taylor Swift videos, of Taylor Swift celebrating the fact you lost in the playoffs, all off season long, and having your esteem brought down and your and your confidence brought down because of it. But some teams that need rebuilt or need to make significant changes truly do need that. So yeah. But anyway, it's a great couple. It's a great story. Hopefully, they're going to be in it together for the long run. And so yeah. That's all I have to say to you guys. Best of luck to Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift as they continue their relationship. I wish them nothing but the best. Can't wait to see Kelsey on more advertisements for sure. Can't wait to see Mama Kelsey get more TV action. So just buckle up. It's going to be a long ride. And you're going to get to see them in more advertisements, which is always fun. That's for sure. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Have a good one. Take care. Stay safe. Pray for Israel. And as always, peace.